just the intro to the vlog. Yeah. It is January 20th, and I'm currently getting in the car, ready to head to the gym. Going to get in a good session with Josh. I usually go to Limitless, uh, Josh's gym, about twice a week. Um, and uh, once I get there, I'll let him kind of expand on uh, a little more of the details of what we're working on. But uh, I really enjoy going there, and it's something that I definitely need uh, just to keep me on a good schedule, keep me uh, focused, and and uh, I just I, I feel better when I go. So uh, uh, big shout out to Josh. Rolling up to Limitless. Ready to get it going. So first thing when I get to the gym, I usually do a mile on the uh, uh, bike there, or five minutes, kind of depending on uh, how I'm feeling, and then start to roll out with a ball and a foam roller. How's the body doing up there? Not, like nothing in particular is sticking out. I got a trainer that fit my bike, and yeah. I bought the wrong one. Like, to dump it all the way down to my hardest gear, and it's still like, it just I just spin. Getting these glutes fired up. They get those arms in motion. Just finishing off the warm up here with some light box jumps. Getting the central nervous system fired up. Good. Drive those knees out as we pop up. Oh, we are in our second phase of Owen's winter training. This is our maximum strength phase. We're coming off of like kind of a general preparation phase. We did a little bit of everything. So our maximum strength phase, we're working on trying to get as strong as possible while also slowly transitioning into some explosive movement. Today we did some single leg plyometrics, some hurdle jumps, which I'm sure you'll see in the video. And this is gonna lead us into our like power endurance phase where we're doing a lot of quick explosive movements and trying to slowly add to the duration of those movements. So come mountain biking season, we can be bombing down that hill for two, three, four minutes and staying strong the whole time. Jumping nice and high, stick the landing, absorb that force. Left foot, good speed coming through, good speed, good speed, good speed, stick the landing. Good, right leg. There we go, good speed, good speed, good speed, stick the landing. Last one, right side, quick off the ground, quick off the ground, quick off the ground, now stick. You put it right on that crack, because this is gonna go here. It's for a long time. And then we're just gonna pair them up with these uh, seal ropes here. So you can do a set of the bar. So remember when we get in here, Using those lats. Booty games. Right, take your time, set those feet. Grip the ground with the feet, drive the hips back. Let the box surprise you, explode up. Good. Keep those knees out, don't let them collapse. 
slow it down a little bit. Don't rush it. Gauge the core. One more good one. Slow. Control. Drive the knees out. Finish is strong. Get ready, ladies. <laughs> there we go. Nice, good control. Pulling with that hamstring, driving that heel into the ball. Nice and slow on the way out. There we go. Control the way down. Don't let it collapse. Better. Lock those wrists out. There we go. Below the chin. We're keeping the reps high. Making sure those shoulder blades get all the way together. Good. Full extension. Keep the toes to the ceiling. down really keep that core super tight keeping space between the elbow and your side and the kettlebell on your thigh good lock those ribs down chest tall good posture and once we get back we're gonna switch the arm now you can switch the hand and we're gonna do two rounds Look at the veins Look at the veins it's a monster I mean, he was shaking the whole thing. Yeah. Definitely. Good, make sure it's easy on the That's 48, that's 47 if we can keep it up. Home stretch, almost there, almost there. Very nice, 48. So, just finished up at Limitless, and I mean, there's nothing but positive energy there. It's it's really good. I mean, Josh is just such a good guy. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend uh, his coaching and his training. Um, he's super knowledgeable. And he's actually, Josh is doing a really cool thing right now. He's doing a 75-day challenge where he has to stick to a specific diet of his choice. Uh, he has to get two 45-minute workouts in a day, one of them outside, the other uh, can be an indoor workout and uh, he has to read 10 pages a day and also drink uh, I'm gonna get the number wrong but I think it's a gallon maybe over a gallon of water a day um, so he's he's fully committed and uh, it's just super impressive and and inspirational to be around and you know they say if you want to uh, if you want to be great you need to surround yourself with great people and uh, Josh is one of those one of those guys that I really just um, do well with and and get a lot of um, good motivation from so thank you Josh uh, next thing to do is go home 
get a little protein in me, try to recover as best we can. Maybe do a little bit of stretching, just uh, relax, because you gotta have uh, gotta have downtime if you want to be able to uh, have energy to turn it back on and, and make those gains. So, time to go home and relax a little. Uh, no way. I just pulled in the driveway, but I gotta get a quick shot of this. Full sunset. This is lovely place that we call home. <laughs>